Wow, this Black Clover chapter is something I did not think I would actually want. I didn't think I'd actually want to see a centered around character who is nothing but a meme, but gave us so much depth in this chapter. But what's up guys, the Red Cloak here. And today is my chapter review for Black Clover at chapter 321. And before I begin the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe at the bell notification to always stay notified whenever I upload a video. But while that out the way, let's get right into the chapter review of Black Clover. The chapter then starts off with Seke's perspective and his narrative on the whole thing. He's saying that it's all the king's fault. Why the hell am I here? First, it was that ancient demon. After, it was a big army of those monsters and that huge worm devil thing. And now, the king of them all, the king of the underworld, Lucifero, has now emerged and beat their top captains. Seke is scared shitless, saying that we were all going to die. And yet, how are you still standing up to him talking about you know, you know, is showing up to the rescue and Lucifero looks even more pissed because he wanted to stomp out Asta with everything he had. And he looks at, you know, about to slap him, telling him that little brat, give him to me. But, you know, is able to use conjunction to teleport Asta and Mimosa away from Lucifero and teleport himself somewhere else so he could fight Lucifero one on one. You know, gets behind Lucifero and getting ready to come with Zephyr and with Saint Stage activated, but it doesn't work. It doesn't cut Lucifero. And Yuno makes a fine remark about him and Zenon. It says that I can't cut him. And Yuno just says that the difference in our power is clear. This is not the same as Zenon. His magic power is overwhelming. So it just shows how strong Lucifero is compared to Devil Heart Zenon. Overwhelming. Not even comparison. But Mariliona, with that dog energy, would get back up and is getting ready for a round. I don't know what round it is. It's probably round five, four. She's getting back up and ready to help, you know, fight Lucifero. And if you had other people like, you know, Fuegolion, Jack, or Noza as their strongest captain right now, I think Mary Leona takes the cake as the strongest captain because the durability that she is going through, the beating that she's been going through, but she's able to get back up and attempt to fight Lucifero. It's just astounding. Lucifero then makes the remark saying that Mary Leona's magic has increased because we're a hellfire incarnate and she's able now to withstand the gravity magic versus the demon king even without trial of the Valhalla being active and it's crazy and now she calls you know brat number two let's do this and you know and Mary Leona are getting ready to fight together and these guys might be the strongest captains right now I don't think it's even close and Seke then remarks that with you know star magic he can actually use or actually walk inside the gravity of the presence of the demon king but from lucifero on top of that you know has a four-leaf grimoire another grimoire and the prince of the spade kingdom and basically in seke's words you know was just that built different seke now being able to get up thinks it's time to bail and get out of here with mimosa and asta and seke tries to use his same persona saying that the one chosen by the king will protect you and bring us out of there but Seke just sees that she's not getting up and she's not moving and still trying to heal Asta. And he's saying, what are you doing? But Mosa tells him, could you please shut up? And Mosa says the truth is she wishes she could get up with Asta and run away too, but Asta wouldn't want that. And now we actually get to a Seke backstory where Seke is actually just thinking about when he first met Asta, when he was on the top of his game, even before he went to the Magic Knights. But he says if he hadn't run into Asta, maybe things would have been different. And we see a flashback to it probably looks like the Royal Knights exam where Asa sees Seke and says, hey, you're Baha. Wait, no, you're Seke. And he just tells him, let's do our best since you made it this far. And now with this, Mosa is still trying to heal Asta desperately. And Mimosa then says that the magic broke. I don't have enough magic left and his recovery isn't going well. She just says, I can't heal him at all. And this may be accustomed to the Gaja situation on why she can't heal him. She used that whole life force thing to heal Gaja and that might be a consequence on why she can't heal Asta. Asta then gets up and he can barely talk and tells Mimosa thank you and starts to walk on and he can barely lift up his sword and Mimosa is telling him you're in no condition to fight what are you doing and Asta just told him just a little longer and he's just huffing and puffing trying to move his body as much as he can and now Mimosa notices that her voice it cannot reach him at all. And she's begging Asta, please don't die. And all of you shippers who ship Asta and Mimosa, hey, this is kind of remind me of Ichigo and Orihime when Orihime's voice couldn't reach Ichigo when he was in Vastal Lorde. 
And now Asta is continuing to move even though he's injured. While Seke is now just telling him, no, this is not good at all. You can't go there. You're still a wreck. What do you think you're going to do out there? Not even the captains could match him. And now he just tells him, what's the point of going over there? You're just going to risk your life. You're a peasant with no magic whatsoever. But how? Somehow you still get up no matter the odds. Seke is now crying, thinking back on everything. And now he's just saying, why did I ever not try to be as strong as you? Why did I never try to become stronger? Which, because in case he didn't know, he didn't. He really didn't. The king bailed him out. He is the king's technically right-hand man. He is his protector. But he didn't get stronger. But Asta, Asta did. And it looks like he's going to risk his life for this. And Asta still bloodied and bruised and not even fully healed. He tells you know that, don't worry, I'm on my way. And now, that's the end of the chapter, and this seems like a goodbye for Asta. He isn't healed, nothing's healed, and now he can barely stand, can barely open his eyes, and with the damage that Lucifero did to him at 50% is just crazy. Strongest in the verse, it's, it's no competition. And right now, I don't think Asta can go into Devil Union because Libe is knocked out. He is out cold. He is on Asta's shoulders out cold. And what can Asta do in this situation? And even if they attempt to press Lucifero, which I doubt that's going to happen next chapter, the second gate supreme devil can always jump in and help Lucifero. But I feel like he's just going to sit this one out because I feel like if he tried to, you know, help Lucifero, Lucifero would probably beat his ass. And it, it's no, it's no contest. We already know who would win. If it was time for a power up, it would be this time now. But personally, I don't really want a power up. I think Lucifero should win this fight. And I think that this will be Asta's last stand to make Julius prediction of him dying come true. And if Asta dies, since he's the only one that can damage Lucifero, there's probably no one in this world that can stop him. And that would be tragic. But I'm also going to make a video on what's going to happen after this arc. Because in my personal opinion, I have a theory which could come together and which could happen. But if you guys want to see that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell notification. I always say no if I never upload it. So you can see that video out whenever I upload it. And now, tell me what you guys think of this chapter. It's been the Red Cloak. I am going to head up out of here, guys. Peace out. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a great rest of the day. And stay safe. Yeah.